There are indications where immobilization of the lower leg is required. For example, fractures of the ankle joint. Define the position of the limb before the start of application. This will give the patient an indication of which position he has to maintain. Choose the appropriate width of stockinette. Measure the length from knee to toes. Double the length and cut. Roll up the stockinette before applying onto the limb to overcome sliding pressure during application. Roll off over the leg and remove all wrinkles and creases. Tuck in the extra length of stockinette at the toes. Apply padding to the limb by wrapping it from the metatarsals, around the ankle and up the lower leg. Use a second roll of padding if needed. Use extra padding for any bony prominences. It's recommended to wear protective gloves before applying Plaster of Paris. Select the appropriate width of the Plaster of Paris bandage. Activate the bandage by dipping into cool water. Remove from water and gently squeeze to drain. Apply onto the patient's lower leg, starting at the metatarsals, around the ankle, and up the lower leg. Use a second bandage as needed. Fold down the stockinette at the proximal end. Smooth edges provide skin protection and comfort. Use a further bandage to secure stockinette and another to complete the cast. Mold and smooth down the cast with the palms of your hands. Fold back stockinette at the distal end, pulling it up over the full cast and smooth down. trim any excess. Check for desired range of motion and any points that may cause irritation or pressure. After approximately three to five minutes, the cast is set and the patient can be released. After 24 hours, the cast is fully set. <laughs>